2008, when the world ended for architecture, mm. you had every project, everything just disappeared. We started Architizer. That was at that time, right, still inspired by the internet, seeing that Facebook was growing and what was happening there. And then still seeing that um, the New York Times was incredibly critical with Mouchamp. Um, basically, if he didn't like you, you had no chance to become a successful architect in New York. And we wanted to just break these rules and these layers. And that's why we started Architizer to promote young talents, right? To try to make people famous so that when they're known that they get a higher chance uh, to mm -hmm. really get other projects, right? Because there was this under this hidden layer of talents that didn't have the chance to get out, uh, right? And, uh, and that was really then the mission of Architizer and then Architizer A Plus Award, which was really an idea for Mark at the time super charging that kind of vision and then actually which i find maybe this is the biggest learning for me stay in your networks and always be engaged with people because alex Steele, who was the one from the club of pioneers uh, we then pitched it to him and he was like that is awesome and he got involved as a third partner Mm. Um, and he had the tech behind him, he had the programmers behind him. Um, so we knew that we had to raise some money, but it wasn't crazy. I think like 50,000 or hundred thousand dollars that we had to raise, uh, that then actually Mark could do, right? So again, of course, if we would have not networks and not one person who's uh, more, has more financial uh, access to financing that would have not worked. Um, so it's unfortunately always that reality that, um, the powers, uh, are important. Um, but so there was like the idea, the tech person and a Mark with mm -hmm. his family connections, he could raise a kind of a very early friends and family round. Then we programmed the whole thing. Uh, and then uh, we were like, okay, now we're ready. Uh, how do we get the word out? And then I tapped into my old uh, networks and I knocked on the door with Ram Kohlhaas and it was like, Ram, we're doing this amazing thing. Can we get some of your projects onto Architizer and his PR department did that. So we immediately had like the first projects were basically Rem Kohlhaas. Oh. Right? Uh, and, uh, and that immediately was just like, like a fire, right? Where people were like, Oh my God, he's showing this. We're showing our work. And mm -hmm. then we had a launch party at, um, at um, a storefront for art and architecture, uh, which was also like everyone from New York came, right? Free drinks and crazy presentation. Um, but that really helped that uh, Architizer get off uh, the ground uh, very quickly. And then suddenly, I mean, we couldn't go, we couldn't run fast enough, right? Because uh, it was really exponential how it uh, kind of developed uh, right away. Um, the only challenge that we had is we did not have figured out a business model. <laughs> 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 like here we are again, and we're like, oh, okay, so now we spend $100,000 and uh, oh, no money comes in. Uh, that took a long while to figure out how it makes some money uh, yeah. on Archetizer that it can just survive on its own.